Hello! I hope you've been enjoying watching our videos. In this session, we will cover the module Understanding Lean Software Development. So let's get started. Lean software development emerged from lean thinking, fast and flexible flow. Its goal is to deliver maximum value to customers with optimum efficiency. Lean software development emphasizes speed and low cost. This can be achieved with the help of an effective team, because an effective team can create an efficient process. With constant process improvement and quality products, one can achieve high speed and low cost. Lean software development has the goal of delivering as much value to the customer, as quickly as possible, and in the most efficient manner possible. Accomplishing this requires the team to have a commitment to continuous process improvements. This requires management to both respect and empower the people involved. Only the team can create an effective process. Management must facilitate this, not control it. Only by continuously improving processes and increasing the quality of both products and processes can high speed and low cost be sustained. While understanding lean software development, it is important to know the lean values. Lean software development is based on Toyota's lean product development. The process of lean software development requires developing thinking team players. This belief stems from the following ideas. Software development needs humans to solve problems. The team as a whole should understand and analyze the problem. People must be given the authority to come up with the best solution. It is people who build a process. Lean software development is based on the following principles. Optimization of the whole. Elimination of waste. Build quality in. Abide by your commitment. Respect and recognize people. Create knowledge. Fast delivery. Lean software development has the following values. Value the customer's needs. Value what the customer is willing to pay for. Value what you desire to produce for the customer. Now we will look at the practices of lean software development. The list of lean software development practices are Identify waste Value stream mapping Set-based development Pull systems Queuing theory Motivation Measurements Now we will learn about the lean software development assertions. The team has to break all requirements into unit features before beginning to work on any other requirements. The team needs to identify and specify what is of value to the customer by communicating with the customer. There should be no room for assumptions. Build what is necessary. If there is anything that is specified but not reasonable enough to be deployed, then remove it. Constantly monitor and limit WIP to prevent unnecessary effort. Anyone who contributes to the project is considered a team member. This may include product managers, business analysts, QA engineers, developers, and implementation managers. All suggestions for process improvements should be viewed seriously and a strategy should be developed to test the suggested improvements. There should be extensive use of visual tools to chart the progress of the project. The visual tools include physical boards, software tools, dashboards, burndown charts, and so on. An interesting aspect of Lean is iterative development. Let's understand what it's all about. In iterative development, Large chunks of work, or application, are broken down into small units to simplify the process of software development. Here, the designing, developing, and testing feature code is done in regular cycles. Each iteration may lead to the addition of features that will be designed, developed, and tested until the developers create a market-ready software application. 
Iterative development is often coupled with incremental development, wherein a long development cycle is broken down into smaller parts that build on one another. The idea behind working in an iterative manner is to have the flexibility to accommodate changes. In the traditional style of development, unforeseen glitches may surface at the end of the development phase, when it is extremely difficult to change things. This leads to unnecessary rework and wasted effort and resources. In iterative development, the game is set differently. The team working on a development project proceeds through a cycle in which it evaluates each application and feature with each iteration and decides on the changes that are required to create the desired end product. Let's see the key concepts of iterative development. They are as follows. Each phase is time boxed and not functionally boxed. Test early and repeatedly. Early and frequent delivery. Maintain high quality. With this, we come to the end of this module. Thank you for learning with us.